So I want to tell you what I feel like the most beautiful part about the Bible is. And that's the story of Lazarus. And how his family called on to Jesus to come help him because he was sick. And he was dying. And Jesus waited two days to go see him. And when he arrived... Lazarus had been dead for four days. And his family questioned God, why did you wait so long? He's dead now, right? And um, in that story, it says that Jesus wept, right? And if you don't know what wept means, it means that he cried. Jesus cried. And it wasn't because Lazarus was dead. It wasn't because he felt like it was too late, you know, that Jesus came too late. And there was nothing he could do. It wasn't because he felt bad. He wept out of empathy. He wept knowing that he had the willpower and he was going to fix that situation. He knew that he was going to awaken Lazarus and he still wept. And do you know how much love that that comes with for someone to know that they're going to fix your situation and they still empathize with you? If you're in a season of feeling like God doesn't understand you, he's not listening, he's not there, understand that he took on the suffering before you even endured it. He feels what you feel. He's weeping with you. So when you sit in your bed and you're crying and you're heartbroken, he feels the brokenness of your heart. Knowing that he can fix it in the blink of an eye, he knows he's going to fix it. And he still empathizes with you. So when you feel alone, understand that Jesus is crying right with you. And his heart is broken right with you. Not out of him going through the pain, not out of him feeling bad for you or feeling bad for your situation not changing him knowing that he's going to change the situation but he feels you that level of love cannot be topped for somebody to have the power to fix your situation and still feel where you're coming from and still have that much love for you that they cry They cry because they feel the suffering. I don't think people understand when Jesus cried, when Jesus died for us, that's what that, that's what that means is that he already took on the pain. He went before us, which means he already took on everything that we're enduring now. He already took on it. So understand when you're weeping, he's weeping also.